Today we are going to discuss FRBR that is functional requirement for bibliographic record. Uh, what we do in the library, we prepare library catalog. Library catalog is a bibliographic record. So how it can be uh, functional uh, for that we choose uh, data elements. So uh, what are the requirement for this data elements? Uh, this FRBR model or functional requirement for bibliographic record what is developed by IFLA in 1998 is discussed here. It is a conceptual model. It is not a bibliographic standard. It is not the encoding code what you know in mark mark. Uh, or the bibliographic standard what you have uh, seen in a ACR. It is a model. It is based on the entity attribute relationship model of analysis. Now what is entity? Entity is anything, a group of things uh, can be called entities. Entities of interest uh, to users of bibliographic systems are identified here. Entities of interest to biblio users, what is that? That is uh, users, when users go to library, uh, they try to uh, find objects, they try to identify the objects and select the objects and then try to obtain the objects. How they are how they try to find it. Uh, so uh, by that we uh, try to um, identify the entities. And they try to find it uh, by the characteristics of the entities. Those characteristics are called attributes. And by the relationships between entities of, it becomes operable. So, WFRBR is based on entity attribute relationship model. FRBR identified three group of entities. In first group, it is the product of intellectual or artistic endeavor. Data that are named in bibliographic records as work, Expression, manifestation and item. In group 2 entities, person, corporate body or that means who are uh, directly related with the creation of uh, group 1 entities that is come in group 2 entities. And group 3 entities are the subject of um, group 1 entities. Group 3 are deals with subject that is concept, object, event and place. These three group of entities are identified by FRBR. Now what is work? Work is the intellectual creation and that is in abstract level. And work is recognized through expression. When we say Sharad Chandra Chattopadhyay is Devdas or the movie Devdas, those are two different intellectual work. The expression. What is expression? Expression is the realization of a work. Why? When we say uh, the Tamil version of Sharuchandra Chattopadhyay's Devdas, this is an expression. When it is written in Bengali, it is another expression. And when it comes into a physical embodiment, the physical embodiment of an expression of a work is called manifestation. That is when it is uh, published in a book, that, that book is a manifestation. When it is created in a movie, that film is the uh, manifestation. Now come to the item. What is item? A single example of a manifestation is item. 
when we, the books are published, uh, multiple copies are published. So, in different copies of that book are different items. When it is, I am saying it is library copy, that library copy is an item. And when it is, uh, I am saying it is autographed copy by the author, it is another item. Now coming to group 2 entities. Group 2 entities we all know that is person, corporate body who are uh, directly related to the creation of a uh, intellectual work. Uh, they are, they come, fall into group 2 entities and uh, who are involved in the production, in, who are involved in the production of an intellectual work. Uh, the person or corporate body, the publishers uh, and all, they are, they fall into this group 2 entities. And group 2 entities are subject of the intellectual work, deals with the subject of intellectual work. That is mainly concept, object, event and place and uh, in addition to that, that group 1 or group 2 entities may fall into, uh, fall as uh, group 3 entities when we say that uh, a person is the subject of a book. How it comes? That uh, when we write a book on criticism of a particular author, when we get a book on Rabindranath Tagore, the biography of Rabindranath Tagore, or the criticism of Rabindranath Tagore, those fall into group 3 entities because here the person becomes the subject. Now coming to the word attributes of entities. What are attributes of entities? Attributes are nothing but the characteristics of different entities by which, actually by which uh, the users formulate queries and get responses. We go, when we go to the library, we try to find a book by a particular author. So, this, uh, that, at that time, the author becomes the uh, characteristics of that uh, intellectual work. Author becomes the characteristics or uh, by um, some other publisher becomes, may publisher also may become the attribute of an entity or series may become entity. That is statement of, res res sometimes we say so statement of responsibility becomes uh, the attribute of an entity. Sometimes we find attributes become common to uh, both the entities. Work and expression, uh, expression are different entities but sometimes we find that uh, some of the characteristics are common to both of them. Common to both the work and expression. Now coming to how the relationships are uh, established. Actually relationships uh, serve the link between one entity to another entity. If we look at this uh, diagram, we find that how work is related to expression and expression is related to manifestation and manifestation is related with item. Work is realized through expression and expression is uh, gets physical embodiment in manifestation and manifestation and item is an example of manifestation. So, in this way, these uh, entities are related to each other. Now, in this diagram, it is uh, showing how group 1 entities are related with group 2 entities. Sometimes group 1 is created by group 2 entities or group 1 is produced by group 2 entity. So, this way group 1 entities are related with group 2 entities. 
Now all these group 1 entity and group 2 entity, all these are, has a common thing that is they have subject. That is group 3 entities. Concept, object, event or place. All of them has a subject. Different types of relationships are showing here. Work to work in universe of knowledge we have different works. But all the works uh, we may say that they are related to each other in some way or other. So all the whole universe of knowledge is related to each other. Now what can be the uh, relationship? These are shown in this slide. There can be whole part relationship. What is whole part relationship? When document or book is uh, created out of another document. Out of another document. We have uh, we Ramayana, Mahabharata and there are lots of small stories are there in that those epic. When a small, we, we take a small epic, small story from that epic and create another document uh, when uh, Rabindranath wrote Karnakunti Shangbad that is taken from Mahabharata. So it is related to Mahabharata uh, that Karnakunti Shangbad poem that is related to Mahabharata. And it is called whole part relationship. Similarly, uh, we can have summarization of a work or digest of a work or transformation of a work. What is transformation of a work? Uh, I was telling about Devdash. Sharuchandra yeah. Chattopadhyay wrote Devdash. Yeah. That is a novel. But uh, several movies uh, in later time we found on this novel. That is uh, Devdash. That is also called De Devdash. So, and other screenplays are born out of that novel. So, this way, uh, transformation, uh, one work is transformed into another work. Then comes adaptation. From any novel or anything, we adapt uh, the story and uh, we sometimes modify it little bit and make another drama or play from that. So, that is adaptation. So, this way we can have uh, complement, we can have supplement, we can have successor. What is successor? Success, successor is the succeeding work. Succeeding work is uh, from one, one work is uh, one author left and uh, left a work at some point and another author took that story and from that point he started and continued the story. You all have uh, known Bibhuti Bhushan Bandhapadhyay. Bibhuti Bhushan uh, Bandhapadhyay wrote famous sequel that is uh, Pothir Pachali, then Aparajito. Eh? You know all, uh, all, you all know about that. But Bibhuti Bhushan Bandhapadhyay's uh, son, Taradash Bandhapadhyay, he continued the story. He wrote the book Kajol that is made uh, of, uh, may, uh, that is uh, started where Vibhuti Bhushan left. Vibhuti Bhushan left with the st story of uh, the hero of his, uh, the name of the hero of his story was Opu and Taradash Bandhapadhyay started uh, the story uh, with Kajol who is son of Opu. So, this way uh, the work goes on and this way they are related to each other. Now, coming to expression. How expression to expression are related? 
Translation is the famous example. Any work got translated into various languages. So, and uh, that means one work gives birth to different expressions. They are related to one work. Then work work, work get revised. And another work, we get another expression of that. So, this way we get different types of expression of a, of a single work. What I was telling at the beginning that user comes to the library for these four works which has been identified by International Cataloging Principle 1998 uh, which was formulated by IFLA, that is, user come to library to find entity, to identify an entity, to select an entity, and to obtain an entity. What FRBR do, does, FRBR maps these attributes and relationships to these user tasks.